Hello, everyone. Welcome to our presentation of the paper Implicit Identity Leakage, the stumbling block to improving deepfake detection generalization. Let's start with a quick preview first. In this paper, we analyze the generalization abilities of binary classifiers for the task of deepfake detection. We find that the stumbling block to their generalization is caused by the implicit identity leakage phenomenon, namely the mistakenly learned ID representation on images may cause false judgments when tested on the cross-dataset evaluation. To this end, this phenomenon has been verified among various DNs. Furthermore, we propose a simple yet effective method named the ID Anywhere Defect Detection Model to reduce the influence of this phenomenon, along with the multi-scale facial swap to support its training. Results show that our method successfully reduced the influence of such phenomena and outperformed the state-of-the-art methods. Besides, our method can also automatically learn various yet faithful artifact features in a data-driven manner. Thanks for listening to the preview. Now let's dive into more details of the paper. Recently, to address the malicious applications of deepfake technology, an increasing number of deepfake detection methods have been proposed to filter out manipulated images from massive online media resources. To this end, previous methods usually dealt with the task of deepfake detection with binary classifiers, which have achieved great detection accuracy in detecting the same attacks learned in the training datasets. However, when confronted with media generated from newly proposed deepfake methods, these methods often suffered from significant performance drops. In this paper, we find that the stumbling block for their generalization abilities is caused by the mistakenly learned identity representation on images. As shown in Figure A, due to the information loss of ID representations when synthesizing deepfakes, the identity of the fake image cannot be considered as the same as its target or source image. In particular, when the face of the target image is swapped back with the face of the fake image, it is noticeable that the identity of the new target image is altered. In this way, as shown in figure B, there exists an implicit gap between genuine and fake identities in the training set, which is unintentionally captured by binary classifiers. Such biased representations may be mistakenly used by binary classifiers, causing false judgments when tested on the cross-dataset evaluation. To this end, in this paper, we aim to accomplish the following two objectives for the task of deepfake detection verifying implicit identity leakage phenomena and improved generalization abilities of defect detection models by reducing the influence of such phenomena. For verifying implicit identity leakage phenomena, we firstly perform the ID linear classification experiment to verify the existence of ID representation. Specifically, we measure the linear classification accuracy of identities on frozen features extracted from deepfake detection binary classifiers for FF++, CELEBDF, and the face recognition dataset LFW. This figure shows that linear classification on features of different binary classifiers converged to varying degrees and achieved varying degrees of accuracy for identity classification. Such results indicate that deepfake detectors accidentally learned the ID representation of images, even without explicit supervision in particular. After verifying the existence of ID representation in features of binary classifiers, we performed another experiment to verify its effect on deepfake detection. Specifically, we used the multivariate interaction metric to quantify the influence of the ID representation. Such a metric can be considered as the attribution score disentangled from the output score of the input image, which is assigned to the interaction of multiple units, namely ID representations. This table shows the AOC for deepfake detection based only on the score of multivariate interaction metric for different binary classifiers. In general, ID representations enhanced the performance in the, on the in-dataset evaluation, but misled the model on the cross-dataset evaluations, verifying our hypothesis. Based on the understanding of the implicit identity leakage, we further propose a simple yet effective method termed as the ID Anywhere Deepfake Detection Model to improve the generalization abilities of binary classifiers. Our motivation is that local areas usually do not reflect the identity of images. To this end, we designed the artifact detection module to detect the position of artifact areas based on multi-scale anchors so as to pay less attention to the global identity. By preventing our model from learning the global ID representation of images, the influence of implicit identity leakage can be reduced. 
However, the training of the artifact detection module requires fine and local precision annotations of artifact areas on images, which are usually not available in public deepfake datasets. Therefore, to facilitate the training of the artifact detection module, we propose the multi-scale facial swap method to generate fake images with the ground truth of artifact area positions, which also enriches artifact features in the training phase. The overall loss function for our ID Anywhere defect detection model is a weighted sum of the global classification loss and detection loss. LCLS is the cross entropy loss to measure the accuracy of the final prediction, uh, that is, fake or genuine images. LDET is the detection loss to guide the learning of artifact detection module. Similar to SSD, it contains confidence loss and location loss. In experiments, we first compared our model with a binary classifier in terms of the phenomenon of implicit identity leakage. In figure A and C, we used TSNE to visualize the high dimensional features extracted from the final layer of different models in 2D space. Each point represents the features of an image. Different markers of points represent features of images with different identities. Results show that compared with binary classifiers, features of different identities in our model were visually inseparable and overlapped with each other. In figure B and D, we conduct the same ID linear classification experiment as before to, comp to compare the existence of ID representation in features of our model and the binary classifier. Results show that linear classification on features of binary classifiers were easier to converge and achieved better accuracy than features of our model. These results indicate that our model successfully reduced the influence of implicit identity leakage. We also compared our model with other defect detection methods. Results show that our method significantly improved the performance on both the in-dataset and cross-dataset evaluations. Such results show the effectiveness of reducing the influence of implicit identity leakage to learn generalized artifact features on face forgeries. Uh, besides, we also evaluated our model for robustness evaluation, cross-method evaluation, and its potential applicability to combine with other sort of methods as a plug-and-play module. Extensive experiments demonstrate the effectiveness of our proposed method. Uh, we also provided viewer results to demonstrate that our model successfully indicated fake images based on local artifact areas. Uh, moreover, our method can successfully capture more generalized artifact features as the types of training forgeries increased. Such a data-driven training scheme helps to release the pressure to continuously devise new methods for the newly proposed types of forgeries, which is of great value for real-life applications. Uh, contributions of this paper can be summarized as follows. In summary, this research provides a new perspective to understand the generalization of deep detection models, which sheds new light on the development of the field. Thank you for listening.